All right, guys, so this is the kettlebell fly video. Um, what I'm gonna do is just show you how to, guys how to do it real quick, and then uh, I'll explain it as I go through it, okay? So you're just gonna do these on the floor. I do them on the floor, I don't really do them on the bench. And the reason being is because the floor allows you to go down far enough when you are ready to, to uh, contract your chest, okay? You don't have to overdo it um, on these. So what you're gonna do, okay, let's get set with your kettlebells. Press them straight up, elbows slightly fixed, palms facing each other. You're gonna open up the chest, touch the floor with your triceps, and squeeze. Okay, remember it's not a press, you're not really bending your elbows, you're just opening up the chest, and squeeze. Now the day we did these in our group training session, we did 10 flies, okay? 10, right? And then we did 10 singles each side. I mean, five singles each side, I'm sorry. Five singles each side. And then after the five singles each side, we did five presses. And that is your kettlebell fly. Now we did that as a finisher, so you can tip, you can do your regular uh, kettlebell flies on the floor for a few sets. But because it was our last set on the chest, that's when we did the ten, the ten, um, ten flies with both arms, five on, five flies, five single flies each side, and then five presses. And you really get a great burn in the chest. All right, so you try that out, guys. Let me know how it works for you, and, um, and that's it. On to the next one.